Two agents took the stowaway into the woods, Kelly took out a dagger and quickly tore through the prisoner's clothes, it turned out that there were aliens inside, seeing their whereabouts exposed, the aliens ran away as fast as they could. Kelly blasted the monster into scum with a single shot. Then, the police who heard the movement gathered around one after another, and the organization also received the news and came to clean up the scene. Kelly took out the amnestic pen, and then there was a flash of light, and the memories of several people were completely erased. Kelly and his partner Clyde are the men in black. There are about 1,500 aliens on Earth, most of whom abide by the rules and coexist with humans on Earth. Another part came to the Earth to make trouble, and the men in black were responsible for dealing with them. But what worries Kelly is that Clyde is getting older and can no longer continue to be competent for this job. Clyde blamed herself deeply. So Kelly decided to take out the memory pen and let Clyde retire with honor. On the other side, special police officer Lyle is arresting fugitives, but this fugitive is not bad. I saw the fugitive jumped and jumped off the 10 meter high bridge. Lyle couldn't believe it, and the fugitive was finally caught by Lyle. The fugitive took out a strange weapon. Lyle reached out and smashed the weapon, and the fugitive took the opportunity to escape. Lyle was looking for the fugitive with a gun. The fugitive flew upstairs, and then the fugitive crawled like a gecko, saw the question mark on Lyle's face, but he had to be caught anyway. Lyle climbed up to the top floor of the 200 story building, and the fugitive seemed to be unable to escape. After leaving two absurd words, coming, your world's gonna end. The fugitive committed suicide by falling from a building. At night, a UFO suddenly fell from the sky on a farm, and the farm owner Reagan went to check the situation. The monster reached out and ate it, transforming into Reagan. Lyle just touched the ears of the dead body. The face suddenly opened the mechanism, and an alien appeared inside. The alien tells Lyle that to avoid galactic war, there is one important thing that must be found. He closed his eyes after speaking. A few days ago, Lyle witnessed the alien fugitive committing suicide by jumping off a building, but no one believed him when he returned to the police station. Kelly, who was in charge of investigating the matter, broke in and asked Lyle to identify the alien weapon. After simply disposing of the police outside the door, the two drove to the grocery store, and Kelly shot and killed the boss. Just when Lyle was in a daze, a strange thing happened and an alien's head suddenly grew out. In the end, Lyle successfully found the weapon, but the alien didn't know the killer's purpose, so Kelly and Kelly had no choice but to leave. Kelly thinks Lyle is a good talent and invites Lyle to join the Men in Black organization. Lyle came to the headquarters for an audition and met various aliens after the Zerg put on human skin. They came to a restaurant pretending to be waiters to serve the guests, and killed the two alien nobles. So Kelly and the two came to the morgue and learned that the worms wanted to take away the galaxy gems and provoke alien nobles to destroy the Earth at this time. Because the nobleman was killed, the gem was lost, the spaceship of the aliens pointed the finger at the Earth, there is not much time left for the men in black. On the other side, the worms are also looking for galaxy gems. Budman ran into the jewelry store to wreak havoc, and saw a picture on the wall of a galaxy gem hanging around a cat's neck. Kelly and Lyle also came to investigate and found that the place had been damaged. Lyle suddenly saw the monster, picked up the gun and shot towards the window. Lyle didn't expect the gun to have a lot of stamina, and then Lyle shot another shot at the truck, but the young and energetic Lyle was full of energy. Lyle blasted several big holes in the whole street, and a group of ants were stunned. The two had no choice but to let the insects go and find another way. Kelly happened to know an alien who was selling information, and the two rushed to seek his help. Kelly interacted friendly with the talking dog and learned the purpose of the Zerg aliens coming to Earth to steal a galaxy orb and start a war. After the dog was let go, the dog yelled at the cat on its head. Lyle thought of the photo on the wall of the jewelry store, and Lyle finally knew the whereabouts of the orb. It was on the cat that was accompanying the old man, but the evil insect monster came here first. Watching the receptionist frantically clapping the words on the table, then the worm monster dragged the woman away, looking for the cat everywhere. The two of Kelly also rushed here, and they split up, seeing the liquid falling from the ceiling. Kelly rushed upstairs to help. At this moment, the worm monster hijacked the woman and the cat, jumped off the windowsill, and fled here, back at headquarters, less than an hour since aliens very much attacked Earth. Since the bugs and monsters can leave the Earth by taking a spaceship, the only way is this old-fashioned flying base, and the two drove there non-stop. Kelly directed Lyle to press the propeller, and the car instantly transformed into a high-tech supercar. Let Lyle have a good experience of speed and passion. At this time, the bug monster was already driving the spaceship and preparing to escape. The two took out super weapons and aimed at the spacecraft. And two anti-aircraft guns directly shot down the spacecraft. The hatch opened slowly. Shang Wei was so angry that he tore off his skin to reveal his true face. The weapons of the two were swallowed by it. Kelly signaled to Lyle to stall for time and not let the worm into another spaceship. Before he could react, the monster swallowed Kelly in one gulp. Seeing that Lyle had no attack power, the worm continued to climb to the higher place. But at this moment, Lyle saw the worms on his hands, so he thought of a way. He poked through the trash can and trampled a cockroach to death, but unexpectedly, it worked. I'm sorry. Is that your auntie? Oh, then that must mean that that's your uncle then, huh? You know y'all look alike.
The worm was enraged by Lyle, and the worm was so angry that he wanted to eat Lyle. At this moment, the insects and monsters were smashed to pieces, and the two successfully got the galaxy. The crisis of the Earth being destroyed is lifted. At the end of the story, Kelly took out the amnestic pen and asked Lyle to erase his memory.